today in the hospital it was more of a it was less of a cardiology day for me it was more of a junior doctor role which is just go around the ward um, checking up on patients and also taking lo lo loads of bloods um, that just happens sometimes and so what I'll do now is I'll, j I'll give you a quick structure of what medical school rotations are like at my university fifth year you do nine rotations in total things such as pediatric psychiatry neurology cardiology respiratory etc etc i'll list them all down here um, some are five week rotations some are four week rotations basically on the first day you get you get introduced to the clinical lead who is your main tutor who signs you off at the end for everything and then you get introduced to the other doctors who will be in charge of you throughout those four to five weeks not all rotations are the same that goes without saying like every rotation is unique and different and you don't know how each rotation will work until you get to that rotation yourself and see it for the first one or two days prime example is for example for neurology um, the way it worked was you were assigned a doctor each day and you had to report to that doctor every morning and wherever that doctor went you went with that doctor um, however in rotations such as um, and the same thing for pediatrics for example you were assigned to one doctor and wherever that doctor was same with obzengaini as well wherever that doctor was for that day whether they're in out, outpatients in the baby scan room or they're in the um, surgical theaters that day you go wherever they are obviously you can ask them the day before where are you tomorrow you get to know in advance that way you can prepare in advance but so for for, for some for example for cardiology you are assigned a main doctor but your daily schedule is different so your daily schedule you're not assigned to someone specific but it tells you where you're supposed to be in cardiology you're assigned to a main doctor who is in charge of you but you don't get told to report to that doctor every single day so obviously at, in the morning you go report to that doctor but you don't follow them around that is at least how i'm taking this and from my personal experience so far being three weeks into cardiology if I were to follow my doctor only and do nothing else but follow my doctor in cardiology half the time I would be in the cath lab just sitting watching my doctor perform procedures while I just watch because a cath lab uh, a stent placement is not really a procedure where you can assist so what I end up doing is every morning at 8 a.m. I go I report to the doctor to show them my face and that I'm here at 8 o'clock on time and I go to, I, I tell them I'm going to the um, cardiology ward to start ward rounds with the uh, with the consultants what then happens is I go to the ward rounds we go through each patient we go we see how they were we check up on their blood pressure and their vitals overnight um, they did um, the most recent bloods they did from the from the previous evening and then we order new bloods um, we do a quick examination to see everything's okay and then we move on we order ecgs as well once all the ward rounds is done it's up to me what to do i could go to my doctor and sit with the doctor in the cath lab and watch them perform the stent placements and obviously learn from them because they teach you as well or i could decide to be proactive and brush up on my skills that I will need as a junior doctor so what I do is I go to the head nurses and I tell them if you need any help with bloods or ECGs just let me know and all the nurses are so lovely they literally hand you the papers because in a way you're kind of taking some stress away from them so they hand you all the papers for ECGs and bloods and you go do it all yourself and you can ask for help whenever you need to of course so once that's over and there's nothing else to do then I look at the patients list that I have and I see which new patients came and if they have covid negative then i go in if if they're undetermined then i wear my ppi and go in and i just examine them speak to them and yeah the thing with rotations such as cardiology is that there's a lot of chronic patients so on on, on your first two days or three days you'll want to go see everyone because you've never met them before so you don't know what their history is you don't know what their clinical ex uh, examination would show so you want to go see everyone in the room but even after a week goes by i'd say 90 percent of the ward are the patients you already know 
So all you need to go do now is just go into the room and you say hi, good morning, etc., whatever, and then you you don't have to take a full history. Just take a history from where you left off. So you say, oh, how are you doing since um, I, I last saw you? Um, what happened? Did they change any medications? You check, the, you check the medication chart and then you say, okay, I'm just going to quickly perform a quick examination on you. And you don't do the full cardiovascular examination because you've already done that in the, in the beginning. Now all you do is a very focused examination from the findings that you previously had. You do a focused examination on what the patient presented with or what complications the patient has so if a patient you know came in with heart failure you're not gonna do a full examination again to see if he has endocarditis etc you're gonna do a focused examination focusing on heart failure so you're gonna check for pitting edema you're gonna listen to his lungs you're gonna check for JVP you're gonna check for um, hepatosplenomegaly etc etc you get the gist so yeah I'm really really enjoying cardiology um, I was wondering whether this would be something I end up seeing and then not liking but I'm so glad that after being in cardiology I'm finally realizing that this is exactly what I want to do to a point to a point where when I hear about very interesting cardiology cases about very complex cases and what procedures they had to go through I sometimes like there was this one time I genuinely got goosebumps and shivers down my spine because it sounded so exciting and it was that feeling of this is what I want to be doing so yeah it goes without saying that cardiology anything in cardiology cardiologist interventional cardiology or cardiac surgery is where I see myself going and accident and emergency as well out of those four things I'll decide